I made this horse out of copper, brass, and uh, different types of metals. It's um, in my in my image. I wanted a little bit of uh, vie de gris. It's um, that what happens when acid and water uh, turns the copper to that turquoise green. So what I'm going to do to speed up that process is I'm going to put a mixture with the paintbrush that I've uh, put a tablespoon of salt, a third of a cup of vinegar, but I diluted the salt in about two tablespoons of really, really hot water before I put the vinegar in. And that's what I have here with the paintbrush. And I'm going to paint on the surfaces that I want that type of, um, it's, it's a mild acid, but it's going to help the process. And within a week, we'll look at it and see if it's uh, to the desired color of turquoise that I, I want. So I'm going to start with the top. And I'm going to do all, I'm thinking of doing all of these type of part of the main. I'm not going to do the copper uh, wire. I'm going to do just that part of the main. So, and it's probably around here, around the eyes, uh, the eye of the, of the horse. So let's get started. Remember, this is very liquid, so just don't put too much on your paintbrush because then, you know, it'll just drip everywhere like what's happening now, but it's a, like I said, it's a very thin layer that you want on here. You don't want a thick, thick layer. You want thin layers, and then that way if, if it's not, if it's too much, if it's not what you like, or if it's not enough, then you put another thin layer, and you could do as many layers as you want to the desired color you want. I'm not going to do the inside of the curlicues, I'm just doing all the outsides. I think it's going to have a a good effect because the inside is already uh, very shiny so I'm just going to do the outsides to get that that type of tint that I want in the in the mane of my horse and this is copper it's not copper plated or anything it's just a sheet of copper We'll see what the effects are after, uh, like I said, there'll be a, about a week. I'll look at it in about a week, and if it's not what I expected, I'll put more. If We'll just see what happens. And that will be the... The demonstration after, after I do the this part, I'm gonna go ahead and um, cover it with the saran wrap, and that'll cause the acid in the vinegar to do its thing. It's um, it's not a it's it's a controlled process. You see how the the vinegar already changes the color of copper. This is burnt copper. So you can see already where I'm placing, how it changes, and it'll turn that green, that green color. So you can see where you want more, most of the green to be in the, in the image because it already changes. It's, it's a, it's an acid that works pretty quickly, but we're still going to give it about a week for, for
for it to, I'd say cure, but that's probably not the word. It's to, to keep the, the acid. Um, I'm going to go around the nose area also. And you'll see right away how the acid changes, how the vinegar changes the, the, copper, the burnt copper tones. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's it changed the color. So, and there you go. And we'll see it in about a week. And, and I might do, like, all these. It, it, you know what? I think I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and do the little lats. that hold the mane in my image, my design. With the paintbrush, you have a little bit more control of your um, acid. Um, you have control, a little bit more control. So it, there's a place that you don't want it, well, don't put it on there. That's it. Okay. Try not to make too many drips. And there we go.